three, two, no, it's live. Why does it always go live while I'm still doing the countdown? Good morning. I have coffee. Ah, dirty bean water or juice, bean juice. Ah, that's good stuff. Oh, oh, I did the button. Oh, dear God. What's going on, guys? Sunday morning live stream, which I have not done in a long time, but I figured now was a good time. Because uh, we don't have anything to review tonight for the normal Sunday evening live stream gun club review thing. So we're going to be taking a break from that for the time being uh, until something else comes up or Build Divers comes back. Um, but I figured I would just come and hang out and talk to you guys for a little while and have coffee. So if you're in the chat, say hello and good morning or good evening or good night, wherever you are in the world. That's why these are interesting because I get a totally different crowd from different parts of the world. Oh, it was a very long day yesterday. I vlogged a little bit um, yesterday and this morning. Hey, Sam. Um, mostly this morning I vlogged. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> yesterday was such a long day, guys. I woke up at 3 a.m., to go to work, worked about almost an eight-hour day, which doesn't sound like much, but I'm not used to doing that. Saturdays is the only day I work a real eight-hour day, and five hours of that is just straight hard physical labor, and then the next few hours is the easy easy part. So I'm sore. I'm tired. Um, the wifey was not here yesterday. She went to go hang out with a friend for her birthday. Not not the wifey's birthday, her friend's birthday. And uh, she finally just woke up about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, so she's hung over. I'm going to head home here in a while. Um, I hope she had fun, though. <clears throat> I'm slightly hung over, and I don't know if it's just crud in the air or just stuff I got into yesterday, but I could not breathe this morning. Like, I woke up, my nose was just completely crudded up. <laughs> And I know being a Sunday morning show, there probably won't be a whole lot of people on right now, but we'll see what happens. Plus, there wasn't a whole lot of time. So, it is what it is. And then we did a live a Zoom build meet uh, last night. Started at one at uh, Space Cadets, and then my internet, I, I guess my computer did an update or wanted to do an update and just crapped out in the middle of it. Um... So by the time I got my computer back up and running, it uh, it was already over. Um, so I decided to start my own, invited a few people in. Um, if I can keep a good Zoom meeting thing going like a couple times a month, I'll do it that way. Um, but it is limited. If you don't have a paid version, it's limited to only like 40 minutes or something like that. I did schedule one for uh, not next weekend, but the week after. So if anyone's interested, we'll be doing that on Saturday night as well. I'll post about it. It won't be it won't be streamed. It'll just be us uh, having a build meet thing. Like I said, it's Sunday morning. I'll see who uh, decides to come and hang out. Oh, my back hurts. And you'd think on my day off I could sleep in, but no. Well, up at 6 a.m. <sighs> I don't tend to sleep very well when the wife is in here. You know, you kind of get used to having your partner next to you. Um, not to mention, I'm just tired and everything. So it's it's ironic that too tired to sleep. So there's that. <sighs> but a good time just. Dealing with stuff. I did not get super far into the build last night, so I started working on 30-minute missions. Um, uh, again, Porto Nova ground type, which is a pretty neat build, not going to lie. So I've only got the legs so far because you, 
if you paid attention to the space type review, you found out that if you want to build the extra stuff, you got to go to the right sides of the pages. Um, so there's that. I guess Arturo J. Briano. Good morning. And by all means, guys, share your morning beverages. If you're having coffee or some orange juice or whatever, what have you, a warm cup of kombucha. Those people exist. But I needed uh, I needed coffee. We didn't have any. I had to actually run to the store this morning to get some. <clears throat> hey, Sean. What's up, buddy? Also, I will be, after the live stream, I'll be doing my judging of the MS100 contest. If my judges are paying attention, it's judging time. Um, I mean, you have all week, but still, might as well knock it out as best you can. Mr. 13, Rod 1 3. <sighs> By all means, if anybody wants to join in, like actually join into the stream, I'll shoot you a link. And just sit here and chit chat for a while. BCAAs for me. What is that, Sean? <sighs> Man, I'm not sorry if you end up yawning. <sighs> they said it was a it was a long night. I don't even know what time I went. To, I fell asleep around maybe 11 30, 12 o'clock. I don't even know. It's better than the last time she was out of town. Which, even after working all day, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. Like, I was awake for about 24 hours before I finally got to sleep. I still woke up some. Branch chain amino acids. Right. Okay. Um, but actually, I wanna, I'm going to do a thing real quick. Is gonna be this is gonna be an inception type moment here. <laughs> this is how dumb I am. So say say hi to yourselves, guys, in the vlog in the future. So I'm I'm vlogging and live streaming at the same time. How about that? Let's see. You got you guys are in the chat right there. So if you want to see this, you have to go over to the well, hold on, I'm talking to the wrong camera. If you want to see the vlog, you got to go over to the secondary channel. I posted up a vlog uh, this morning. At some Whenever it finally finished uploading, I don't even know. I watched it when I got up. So, yeah. What am I drinking, Anthony Cad? I just have some nice um, Starbucks Pike's Place coffee with some sweet cream creamer from whatever. Yes, I know it's workout stuff, Sean, because you're all beefy and shit. True plot of Inception. See, hold on, wait, you gotta, you gotta, where the hell is the camera? See there, we're looking at each other now. Ooh. Can't see anything. Either way, I'm being a dork, so it is what it is. Um, I do have stuff to do today. I kind of want to work on this thing. Maybe knock out some laundry. I don't know. Stuff like that. Gasselcast. Hey, Gasselcasters. I'm going to turn off the vlog for now. Vlogging and live streaming at the same time. Oh. I just thought, okay, so if you guys watch my stuff, you know what this cool little hockey puck thing does. You know, you push the button and cool stuff happens over here. Um, so my cousin came over with his girlfriend the other day. So they, you know, just got together recently. And uh, I was, they were, we were going to pick up a whole bunch of empty pallets and woodworking projects from my parents' house. But she brought her kids over, one of which is a huge anime nerd, and the other one is just a nerd in general. So wanted to show off the, the cave here. And, uh, unfortunately it was before I did that cleanup during the vlog. Um, but I was trying to show off the lights and stuff over here. If you guys remember. Um, and so I'm pushing the button and, and it's not coming on. I'm like, come on, what now? Because I had a, I had a problem where it got reset for some reason. And so I thought maybe it was just on the fritz. So this morning I go to, uh, fix it. Cause you have to do the reset button on the back. And I looked down, I was like, oh, wait, I got to flip it on manually. So I reached down and yeah, it's not even plugged in. I forgot that I had unplugged them to plug in a whole bunch of other stuff the other day. So I'm sitting there, why aren't my lights working? Oh, you need power for that. Oh, I'm glad the castle cast could uh, pop in here. Hi, guys. 
Uh, like I said, if any anybody is a anybody is a friend of mine has nothing better to do at the moment and wants to join in the stream, I'll send you a link. But yeah, I'm just gonna be sitting here and BSing for a little while. Just talking to you guys, see what's going on in your lives. How's your morning? How's your weekend going? It's Memorial Weekend. Um, so, of course, thanks to everyone who uh, who uh, made their great sacrifices so that we could have what we have in this world, in this country. So, cheer that. Unfortunately, we have no plans for that. You know, no barbecues or anything like that. Nobody's hit us up, but it's also one of those weird times, obviously, that it's like, okay, what do you do? You know, do you have a buttload of people over, even though where we are, it's a thing. Um, uh, what recent Gunpla have I worked on? Oh, I'll get to that in just a second, Anthony. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. Oh, we normally have a Memorial Weekend uh, beach deal uh, with the family. Um, but last year didn't go through because of some very selfish people. Um, and then this year, just with the way things are, I'm just not quite going to do that. It'd be pretty decent weather today. I think. It's only, I think it's supposed to rain a little bit today or tomorrow. But normally we'd be doing that. Um, but instead, I'm here alone and the wifey is elsewhere and She'll be coming home later. And yes, I hold my coffee weird. It is what it is. What recent Gumpla have I worked on? Um, the last Gumpla I worked on was the uh, um, Rezel over there. Working on 30-minute mission kits right now just because I want, I needed a break. needed to change it up. Um, use K-Cup Instant Coffee Crystals Chocolate Syrup. It's on the on. And it's on off switch. Nice. Good job. Good job, Sam. Um, better the young inside the Gundam religion early on. What? Better get the young inside the Gundam religion early on. Oh, okay. That was a weird thing. My lady is still laughing at you called me beefy. <laughs> Can't wait for the... <laughs> dude, you're, you're a big dude, Sean. Or at least tall, right? <sighs> I've seen your truck. I know you like things big. Not being able to have parties during holidays like this sucks. We're doing a drive-by B-Day for my son today. But he's cool with it. Sweet. Yeah, I've known a lot of people who are doing that. Um, uh, there was a thing, oddly enough, for my work I saw posted up. Um, I don't even know when it's supposed to happen, but it was supposed to be like a drive-by thank you thing for us, I guess, technically speaking. But I think it would be like a reverse drive drive by thing where like all of the people are on the side of the road and we drive past them. You know, if you know what I do. Um, so or something like that. I don't know. I saw it posted on the, on the board at work. Um, it's been beautiful. Yeah, it's been beautiful. It's just been hot. Um, and like, I don't know, you guys probably can't tell, but I'm pretty pink right now. It looks like sunburn. It's actually not sunburn. It's rub burn. So work yesterday, super hot, even with fans on, I mean, like working in the warehouse and I'm just r constantly wiping my face with a towel and it's just like friction burn on my face. And yesterday, like get home from work and want to take a shower and I hop in and take a hot shower to deal with my, you know, the back pain and leg pain and all that. And then just like hits the face and you're like, ah, it's fun. 30 minute missions are pretty damn good. Not going to lie. They're nice and simple, but give you a good stable kidney and run through the IBO kits. Yeah. Um, most of them anyways. Yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying them. It's something different. And now that they're doing this weird expanded line, like giving me some cool tank feet. Uh, with Tank feet, tank legs, whatever. Uh, it's got multiple setups. Um, and I do need to review the next one, which is already done. It's down here. Um. So I've got to get back on my reviews this week. I do have stuff. Uh, excuse me. Just had breakfast. I do have things reviewed. Uh, some things that will be up on the secondary channel. Some things that will be up here. You know, Transformers statues. So if you want to see the latest and last for now statue in my Naruto series, uh, that will be up this week on the secondary channel. Um, I thought about doing Master Grade Monday unboxing for tomorrow. Um, 
I might still do it. I don't know. I've got freedom right now. So I might as well take advantage of the quiet in the house. Uh, so I might do that. But yeah, I've got uh, action figure reviews. It'll be up on the second channel. Uh, obviously, kit reviews, Transformers reviews. It'll be up here. Working on vlogs again. Just because I, need, I want something else to do. And it's been a while since I've properly vlogged. Um, I used to vlog daily um, and put it up on the second channel. Just But lately, there hasn't been a whole lot going on. But needing to clean room and stuff like that. And I just found out awesome news. Uh, at least our Ikea is open for pickup. So you can order online. And then when they send you the email that your stuff has been gathered, you can go to Ikea and pick your stuff up now. So I guess they listened. <laughs> it's like I tweeted at him. I was like, why are you not doing click and pick? Do it. Uh, so they actually listened. So Ikea, if you've been waiting for them to be open in certain places, there's a only a few uh, that are open right now for click and pick. And ours just happens to be one. So now I can go get the Billy I need, uh, probably the new desk I want, uh, so that I can reorganize even further in here. Um, so I was excited about that. So finally, some good news. Um, so that's probably what I'll do this week at some point, maybe tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, it's a holiday. I don't know if they'll be open, but, um, but yes. Oh, yeah. And by the way, happy birthday to to the child there, Chris. Sorry, um, Max. Is it? <laughs> Cute kid. So, oh, guys, go subscribe to the Gasselcast. They're really cool people. I have not got to watch the War Machine unboxing yet. I'm excited about that. I want to see that. Um, investing in more hot toys. Sell off some pops and buy more hot toys. It's like we had a conversation about that. Yes, I've been definitely waiting for the IKEA. I'm splashing coffee. Oops. Um, I have a towel here somewhere. <sighs> hey, nothing, nothing will ever beat the middle of the live stream knocking my cup of coffee over with my computer onto the floor. The floor is still stained back when I did it over there. Early days. There we go. Throw that on the floor. <sighs> What's my favorite, a favorite uh, mobile suit? I don't have one. I hate them all. Just kidding. Um, I gotta watch where I'm setting my phone down. Um, I don't know, man. There's there's so many. Let's just be honest here. I like a lot of things. Sananju is way up there, though. Somewhere between Sananju, Kshatriya, um, things like that. I like them. I like them flashy, sort of. Vexia is always a good one, but I think I prefer Double O. Just ruining things with coffee today. What's your favorite mobile suit, Stormtrooper 2K? I'm just going to wait. Sazabi. There we go. Cool. Uh, 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 ooh, that was nice. But yeah, I'm just chilling, hanging out, seeing what you guys are up to. Like I said, if anybody anybody knows me wants to join in just for fun and hop on the stream, I'll send you a link. Uh, I'd like to reset Go Gray's Custom 2. So you mean the... Yeah, Reuse Go 2. <laughs> Coffee stain Gundam custom win. Never. I don't, I'm not going to waste coffee to stain a Gundam. It'd be silly. I'll do it other ways. I don't know. I have to work on the Ikea Gundam at some point. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do as the base. I have an idea, but I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Oh, I did pick up. I did pick up another Flame Toys kit. The other day, I forgot to mention it. I picked up IDW Megatron. I, oh, quiet phone. Uh, I will be getting uh, Skywarp from uh, Space Cadets. They had, did. They just got in a big bluefin order, and he was trying to order me the Flame Toys Devastator. I've already bought the paints for Devastator. It's funny. I haven't bought the kit yet, but I bought the paints because I'm weird that way. 
it's like, I want to have the supplies now so that when I get the kit, I'll be ready to go. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot more stuff to work on. So maybe after I'm done with the stream, I'll do a quick unboxing video for tomorrow for Master Grade Monday. And then I'll start on the MS100 judging because, you yeah, know, that'd be fun. It'd be fun. And I know people keep hitting me up. Or what was it? Anthony Freitas was asking, uh, were his pictures good enough? And I told him when he first sent them in, I'm like, hey, man, you might want to work on, on the lighting a little bit here. It's kind of hard to see. So why so early? Because it's morning, Eric, and I don't have to stay up late. <laughs> Um, yeah, don't, we're not doing a stream tonight, so I want to do one now at the beginning of my day before I really get rolling into stuff. I don't want to have to like get a lot done and then have to like rush to get a, a live stream together, which, you know, this is not a normal review live stream. This is just a bullshitting live stream, so it is what it is. Uh, I just want my sinuses to clear out a bit. Like I said, they're just never just packed. This morning it was not not good. Could not breathe when I woke up. Uh, GNO one H S avalanche X yeah. Oh, look at you throwing out big numbers there, Sam. Okay. Why do you like Avalanche X yeah? In particular, why do you like that one? That's the one I'm like least a fan of. Sorry, I had to move that. I couldn't use my Shoot the link. Fine, fine. Copy the clipboard. There we go. What? 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 Were you paste already? What the heck? There we go. That was weird. There you go. Oh, dropping stuff. Ow. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was my knee. I'm old sometimes. Oh, wait. That means I have to put the headset on, doesn't it? I gotta do all this shit because friends want to come and hang out. Uh, pink on a killing machine is just the best. That's funny. Um, I think I'm more a fan of the Fluoros by that point. Not that I don't like the Rusei Go. It just it is what it is. Actually, the the sheet in one is pretty cool, but I actually prefer the ride and go instead. But it is what it is. Shoulder booster knife, clavicle beep savers. Oh, just all the things. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a big beefy Exia version, all the extra armor. I mean, I could have called it Exia full armor. Hello. There you go. Something from a different perspective. Make me get all the <laughs> chin. What's that? Get the low angle under chin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't I just so, see you last night? <clears throat> what's that? I said, didn't I just see you last night? <laughs> that was really fun. That was fun. Uh, so we need to do that. I don't know if you caught it earlier. I set one up for two weeks from now uh, on, on Saturday at 7. So. Cool. I'll post about it because it said if you want to have it said if you schedule one now we won't do the forty minute uh won't do the forty minute limit again so oh, so in theory it should come off without a hitch I don't want to have to pay for it obviously um because I'm not I'm not made of money <laughs> <sighs> you don't have the big YouTube bucks yet not yet no <laughs> though I need to I need to go check out those couple brand deals I was sent uh. One, at least one of them seems okay. Might get, might actually get something out of it. Yeah. 
It's like I think I think I hit that weird threshold where advertisers actually are reaching out and like, like, hey, well, you want to sell an ad for us or whatever. And just like, and only one of them is like the most legit I've seen, like with a real website and all these things. So, I'm just like, oh hey, maybe I'll actually go for this one. It could be useful. <laughs> uh, and for a glasses company, don't 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 show me it, that. Just don't point it at me. <laughs> is that one of the old? Is that one of the older ones? Uh, it looked... old, relatively speaking. Was well, it a BB Cinchy or is it the previous FD line? It's a legend, legend BB, BB okay. part of the BB Cinchy line. Yeah, I figured from, that was twenty uh, twelve. Godmaru. Yeah, that, I figured it was Godmaru. Uh, because that was the one that uh, what's his face used briefly at the, in uh, Build Fighters. I thought he used like a. Captain Gundam or something like that. No, she did. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she built the Commander Gundam. Which okay, is like that's a, what I'm the, thinking of. Which is like a little bitty, uh, almost like full armor. But he did Godmaru, but he didn't know how to use it properly. <laughs> yeah. Sell out the first time you get. That's funny. Uh, yeah, definitely not uh, not selling out there, Sam. Just uh, if they want to give me free stuff and pay me to run an ad i'll do it as long as it's something as long as it's something i believe in not not just crap like some of the other ones i've been sent and i'm just like <laughs> that i'll never get over the one that didn't even tell me what it was what the company name was or anything they're just like if you want to do it tell us your rates and we'll send you the stuff i'm like why don't you tell me what it is and i'll be advertising so i could decide if i want to like yeah i'm pretty sure that's not how this works <laughs> no i'm just like do you even have a company name like it's like it was like if I emailed you, like that's what it looked like. It was like nothing, no letterhead, no nothing, no description of anything, no links. It's like at least send me a link or something that I even know what the heck I'm going to be looking at. Chris, to be fair, when you first uh, contacted me, you're like, "Hey, this is the guy from that from the uh, build off or not, the uh, the build day." Yeah. You want, you want to show off your uh, build on my channel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I hit you up on Facebook, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're easy to find. I need to find uh, the guy who was in the build thing last night, Justin, because I don't have him on Facebook. He's a cool dude, and I just uh, I don't have him as a friend. And I know he's in the other Houston club. Wow. <sighs> yeah. So the one we but don't I think speak of. <laughs> the one we don't speak of. The one no one speaks of because no one goes to anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still tired from last night never didn't really sleep that well i never i never sleep that well without the wifey but uh, you know it is what it is i'll probably take a nap later yeah i tried to get to sleep and my brain was like hey let's not sleep and so I ended up staying up to like <laughs> one o'clock in the morning or something like that i'm paying for it now yeah i, I went to bed a little bit earlier than that but I just <laughs> I fell asleep watching videos and then woke up early because <laughs> it's like, hey, we know it's your day off. Would, would you like to wake up at 6 a.m.? No. Too bad. <laughs> so and then I had to run to the store and get coffee. I didn't realize Kroger is or opens at seven now instead of six. Uh so luckily I got there at like six fifty, so I only wait like ten minutes for them to open up, but we didn't have any coffee. I'm like, I need Reed up at the doors going like, let me in. No, I was sitting in my car watching music videos. <laughs> so, you know, I had to replace the battery in my car. Um, so my radio reset. Right. And so uh, as I'm having to go through the settings and stuff again, I'm like, OK, let me let me play around with some of these audio settings that I never really touched before. And like, I guess I cranked up the subwoofers a little bit uh -oh. like. Like, I know I turned one thing up a notch, and I was like, whoa, okay. It does have some good sound in here. Like, <laughs> I've had this car for three years, and it's never sounded like this. I was like, I touched the right button this time. Yay. Nice. I mean, it's possibly too loud, but, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm deaf. Might as well keep it going. I hardly use the um, car radio in my vehicle anymore. Well, I've always got the phone linked you know, Bluetooth to it. So I've either got a video up or something like that, but I'll Mine's watch. Uh, doesn't do that. <laughs> you could. 
Uh, what does it say? Oh, some Gunpla reviewers are perfect to watch, to pass <laughs> out to. I feel like that's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> You're being attacked. No, uh, the, the comment I got the other day, so I'm going to read this. Because I, I mentioned it to you. And I did reply to this comment, so I want to bring it up. Um, so this was on the... I'm pointing at it, but you can't see the 30 minute missions kit mm -hmm. from uh, from Friday. So this guy, obviously a new subscriber or a new viewer, so it showed you a, a sincere, good hearted opinion. And please try to be more on point. Trigger word. Uh, maybe write a pre script. Just don't lose lose too much time with uh, an almost six minutes of mobility showcase. Most of your reviews are so, 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 so much longer than it needs to be. This one took three minutes oh, just to stop right. showing the box while other YouTubers take about 30 seconds. Now, you know how I'm going to reply to that. So I did reply and I said, and, and for this goes for everybody who watches my channel. I said, yeah, I don't care. I'm not other reviewers. If you <laughs> don't like how I do things, you're welcome to watch others. I've tried doing things how others do it and made no difference to viewership or subscribers and made me feel like crap, so no. Yeah, because you tried doing the, the quick, <clears throat> short videos, breaking things down. And, yeah. And, or breaking them up into like multiple videos and stuff like that, and that yeah. got you almost like negative results, didn't it? Yeah, kind of. But it's just like, anybody who's been around for a long time knows I do things the way I want to do them. I'm not here to be exactly like the next person mm -hmm. or the previous person. I should say, you know, I'm not Zach. I'm not Mecha guy Kotsu. I'm not even a uh, jab man. You know, I'm what about Vangelis? Sure. Are you evangelist? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm totally evangelist. Uh, <laughs> but it's just like, I, I can edit out some stuff and there's videos where I've edited out where things were taking a long time or I'm fumbling with something, especially when it comes to like a transformation. Yeah. But in this case, with this thing, it's got multiple configurations. It's got multiple ways you can do things. And I'm going to show how you make those things happen. If I cut it, then you're not going to get any information. You're just going to see an end result. And when it comes to the boxes, I'm always going to review the box. That's part yeah, of that's, the kit. that's part of the experience. Yeah. And if it takes a while, it takes a while. Some boxes take longer than others. P. Bandai boxes take about 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's, it's a like, picture. It's blue. <laughs> uh, now nah, Shoki is too active to be evangelist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Robert, Robert184, nobody could ever be that guy. Like I tried to kind of be that guy and it was interesting, but way more work on my part. It's like, it's actually harder for me to do shorter videos and mm -hmm. I don't want to, and I never want to feel like I'm leaving something out. And I've done that. Like you know, constructed constructed. Additional pylons. yeah. <laughs> so I really do not care about anyone's opinion about how I do my things. I don't, even if one of my friends came to me and said, Hey, you should do this. I'd be like, Eh, you know, but I'm sure as, sure as hell not going to listen to a no-name person. You know, it's, it's, I've been doing this for what, four years? Going on yeah. five? It's just like, look, I have the subscribers I'm going to have. I have the viewers I'm going to have. Changing the way I do things never did a thing for me. And when people use that word, the point, <laughs> I have videos for you fuckers. <laughs> Go watch my The Point videos. Which I, I guess I could do another one. So what I should do is when I get the ground type done, I should do a port and over the point. <laughs> so I do the basic one and then go from there. To be fair, so, I find your the point videos hilarious. They can be funny. My favorite, my favorite one is the Kamaras Vidar. Or the ground type. The ground type Gundam is a good one. Because it's like it's it's meta with even going into Crow's review of the ground type Gundam. So, I still regret that. I lost the time window to tie to do a review of. Um, I think it was uh, the Blue Destiny or something like that, and 
I was going to have a visual gag where I was watching your video and you say, uh, you should buy one. And then I'm like, Don't oh, that's right. Look down and I see I have the, uh, the box in my hand. I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized there's a reply to my reply. Uh oh, let's see how good this is. I already saw the first word. Joker review is kind of hostile. Learn to take constructive criticism. You should <laughs> yeah, thank him for his opinion and his interest rather than being sensitive about it. Should I just reply, fuck you? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm not being hostile. Like, that wasn't a hostile a little reply. Hostile, but, he, but he's no, not. That wasn't, I, not I, I to, no, I told him I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's like, I really don't care. I've heard it since, like, day three. You know, nobody saw me day one or two. It was only day three they started watching. So it's like, <laughs> I, I really don't care. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It's not constructive criticism. It's you trying to alter me to fit your needs instead of going mm -hmm. by what I do. It's like, I don't have to change to what the subscribers want. If the subscribers like what I do, then those are the people I want. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to alter who I am and how I perceive things and how I show things to be like other people. There's no point in that. Mm -hmm. And that's the real point. <laughs> It's like, it's like, if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. There are people who make that content. Don't come to me asking me to be them. Go to them, ask them to be me. How about that? Like, hey, you should be more like Shoki. That's not going to happen. You know, I don't care. I really don't. It's like, oh, no, I might lose a couple people. whoop de doo I don't get views as it is. It's like my <laughs> subscriber count is no reflection of my viewership. So I don't care. It's like, it's like asking you to do short reviews of uh, Rerise. <laughs> it's like, no, those are, those are two hour live streams for a reason. It's like the one we only did one that was under like an hour and a half. And that was the what exposition episode it was super easy to get through. And we spent 40 minutes just talking about other stuff. That episode was that was, the one we were talking about? Like uh, combining the, the unicorn Gundam with the, uh, with, uh, Exia ELS or whatever. Or oh, not Exia, maybe. Uh, Quanta X, Quanta that was the fin the Phoenix Phoenix uh Quanta combo, <laughs> Qu Quantex. <laughs> uh, maybe the 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 universe breaking Gundam. It's like, <laughs> hey, if you just really want to break through uh all physics, like this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a funny discussion. <laughs> animated Star Stream. You haven't seen Hostile. <laughs> um, but yeah it's like I, I just don't care it's like I've been around long enough at this point it doesn't matter if somebody has a criticism to where I screw up like if I mess something up or I have some info mm -hmm. wrong that's the stuff I'm going to listen to but if it's just on how I do things I don't care I really don't I, I did one thing that people criticized me for and that was adding effects when I'm rotating the box uh because I guess some people were a little bit sensitive to it. Um, so I just cut that part out. It's just less editing on my oh. part, technically speaking. Because yeah, I used now to do I think the, about it, I haven't seen that in a while. No, I haven't done it in like eight months, nine months, maybe longer. I think uh, Double October was the last time I did it. I might have even been before that. So um, remember it was the swooshing sound. And yeah, it was the it swooshing was... sound. And it would spin the kind of the direction I was spinning the box. Uh, the IBO Gray's Custom was my first. Cool. Travis Armstrong, hello, how are you doing today? I'm tired. <laughs> tired and uh, slightly cranky, but, you know, coffee's helping. Beer will help more later. I need to get some caffeine in me, too. Yeah, how do you have no caffeine in you? What are you doing with your life? I had milk with my breakfast. <laughs> oh? I ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you don't drink coffee, right? No. I yeah. like the smell of coffee, but I cannot stand the taste. Well, yeah, but that's what creamer's for. Like, if, if, there was a, if there was a Dr. Pepper creamer, you would have coffee. Like, if they you could say make... that, I'm pretty sure there was at one point. I want to say I remember seeing that in the store. I don't know how they would make that happen. Like, how do you make a coffee taste like a Coke? It would be very sort of a cherry-flavored-like thing or something. I mean, yeah, I could see that. You know, you know, one of these weird things that I wanted to try but was not available: the uh, Mountain Dew Doritos. Mountain Doritos that taste like, like Mountain Dew. Dew. 
they basically that doesn't sound good to me because Matt, I don't like Mountain Dew. So yeah, I know you don't. But like, I kind of, I really wanted to try them. Like, they weren't, they weren't available in every market. But like, I really would have liked to try it. Except I still argue they missed a better branding thing because it should have just been Doritos. <laughs> like, how did they miss that? It's like Mountain Doritos. I, I mean, bet there was probably that was probably written on a whiteboard somewhere. But the uh, marketing people were like, "No, we gotta have, we gotta maintain the, uh, the branding." Yeah, but it's a crossover, so. <laughs> I mean, and they're tied together company wise. So it's like, there's no reason they couldn't have just done that. Like even combine the logos, you know, cause they have it on there. So it's like got the Mountain Dew logo right above the Doritos logo. It's like Mountain Doritos. I, I just remember just um, several years ago, they did Doritos did like a mystery flavor thing. Yeah. And um, my wife tried them. And was like, Oh, it's old Bay seasoning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't. Like, it'd be weird if it was like cotton candy or something. I figured if it was in Japan, it'd be really weird flavors. Uh, Travis has been painting. Yeah, panting. He's been panting the Gundam HD. You don't Gil- know about that. <laughs> yeah. He's been he's been doing the Gilgoog Jaeger. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's the one with the the giant shoulders, right? I think and the so. thrusters built them. I think so. Gogu has big old shoulders anyway, so I don't know what the Jaeger version is. It, ha- it The shoulders like stick out like two or three times as long as longer, and they have like a uh, Bernier thrusters inside of them. Oh, okay. I think I'm like big... Gilgoog meets um, uh, GPO-1 for Bernier. It would be weird if it just suddenly came up with that. Um, let me go look. Gelgoog Jaeger. There it is. Either that or he's combining the Liger Zero Jaeger with it, which that's not cool too. No, it's the shoulders aren't that big. It's but it's got that uh, specific backpack. Because mm. oh, that's right. Because I had the I had that backpack in the uh, game. I mean, it does have big shoulders, but they're not really that much bigger than normal Gelgoog. I seem to remember them looking weird, but it's been a bit. I mean, it's a weird looking thing in the first place. I know uh, it's like Zach it, Aurelius reviewed it at one point. Like, of course he did. Back. Of course he did. <laughs> what hasn't he reviewed at this point? Now the, uh, I guess this is one of the. Uh, that one's got some beefiness to it, but that's overall. What what the heck is that? That's not what that's I'm a, thinking. That's of a Gogo. That's a Gogo Giger. Just not oh. the char version. Weird. Yeah. That looks like Gilgu through the lens of like Gundam Seed or something. Mm-hmm. It's an actual drawn one. You're thinking more of that one. <clears throat> yeah. See, I, the one I'm thinking of, it, it has the super big shoulders. I'm going to have to look it up now. Wait, not now because yeah. phone is where I'm streaming from. Yeah. But... You're not thinking of that one. You're thinking of somebody else. Yeah. I'm looking for Gilgu with bigger shoulders. There's a green one. There's a white one. Shin Matsunaga have one? Uh. Seemingly. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it has big shoulders. Oh, well, yeah, see, there's this one. It's that same one I showed you, but it's actually animated version. Weird. Either way, that's the thing. Oh, Gelgoogs. Whatever will we do with you? I think you need to pick up one of those. It- HD scale or something because they look cool. What the heck is that? Sticky tack? Yep. It's my stress reliever. I can do that too. <laughs> Twiffed it up. Oh, good thing I stopped when I did. It was about to fall. Um, but yeah, that's always on the desk because I've always got, because from the last couple projects where I'm masking things and I need to use this to yeah. put on stick. Yeah, I've been using that for the same. So I have it stuck on the little. You've been in the the uh, the shelf space. So that shelf that's up against the uh, review area. Yeah. I have some stuck to the back of it, basically. Oh, you're thinking of the Regelgu. Is that? Oh, I think that's right. Yeah, it's, that's it's the one with the, on the absolute. Chat. That's the one with the ridiculous shoulders. Yeah, there we go. That's the yeah. one I was thinking. Of. See. Giant shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same thing. No, it's not. I apologize. Yeah, how does it not burn its own arm off or arms off? It's got like <laughs> it's got three huge thrusters inside that and right next to the arm. 
Rainbow Gilgus. Yeah. See our see our subscribers are are smart. I say our because they're the people who come to watch us. Yeah, the one to paint is going to be gold, silver, and black. Cool. Ooh, that's kind of a neat color scheme. Like tiger stripe or like. What's going to be the primary color on that? Uh, I would think silver. But maybe not. I don't know. That was gross. Mm. Breakfast tacos. Oh, no. So I did a very I did a very different in the kitchen with Shoki video this morning. You'll see on the vlogs. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I did I did what people have wanted me to do. Oh, is it the cooking episode? <laughs> I'm not telling um <laughs> so yeah I, did. I've, I was vlogging this morning i'm just happy my button works again makes me happy i need to do uh, some filming today as well after i get uh, the comic finished up for the week yep yeah. i think i'm gonna do like i said earlier i think i'm gonna do the, the mg or master grade monday unboxing <clears throat> and then do my judging and stuff like that i'm gonna be very judgy today <laughs> judgment time yes step up and be judged <laughs> just but this sucks do it better no, i'm just kidding <laughs> you know you know All better than anybody how, the chicken. <laughs> yeah you know how, you know how i am more than anybody <laughs> it's like you're going through this contest twice now so. yeah and i and i'm i'm nervous <laughs> i i i haven't seen really well, I probably have seen some of the other entries and not realized it, but I'm like, if you're nervous in the what's couple, gonna happen? Because I know I didn't. Yeah, well, if you're in a couple groups, you've seen you've seen some of the entries. Because I feel like I didn't do a whole lot to the suit itself, mainly because I didn't want to. This yeah. one just it didn't feel right to uh, throw on a bunch of extra stuff. No, I mean you went for the advanced category, so I mean you could have. You know. I went in for intermediate, but paid for advanced because I figured I was going to uh, face plant in there. Yeah, but I don't know. Inter intermediate is weird this year, just from what I've seen. And, and like, the only real hot shot one that I've seen so far, we just bumped into advanced because it was too good. Um, he he was shooting for intermediate, and I told him, mm, "I think this is advanced." And uh, so I. I can you know sit a couple pictures to the judge and said, Hey guys, should this be advanced or intermediate? And everybody said advanced. So mm -hmm. he's got two advanced entries instead of one intermediate, one advanced. So I know I got a I got a diorama like thing attached to mine, so I think that bumps me up or something, doesn't it? Yeah, that instantly yeah. puts you into advanced. So we'll see ha. what happens there. <laughs> ha -ha. Like I said, face plan into advance. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, Hazel is rad man so far. Yes, Hazel is cool. Uh, for brown, wait, for the brown, it's gonna be gold. For the red, it's gonna be black. And for the gray, it's gonna be silver. So he's just doing straight color swaps. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay. You'll have to send that along as you get it done, Travis. Post it, post mm -hmm. it either on the, the Shoki Facebook or in the Discord. Link in the description down below. <laughs> Dude, I still haven't gotten my damn shirts. <laughs> oh no, they're I, somewhere. They're they're somewhere. It said it was handed off to the international, whatever, and uh, not. I don't even know if it's in the U.S. I have no oh, idea man. where my. I was I was thought about. I don't know if I can get a refund for it or something. I have no idea. I've been bad. I have not ordered uh, my shirts yet. Well, you know. Be. It won't be here for three months, so who knows? <laughs> yeah. And it, admittedly, hearing all this, I'm like, maybe it's a good thing I haven't ordered it yet. <laughs> I think if you ordered it before everything shut down, I know people who did. So, you know, I uh, like the guy guy who was on the thing last night. He, he ordered his and got it already. So he got it before everything shut down. So I think the problem is that Teespring's U.S. factory had to shut down. So they had to switch to their overseas factory which takes forever to get anything over here. I was looking at my ground type and had an idea. Uh -oh. kind of works. It's a little big. Put the treads on the arms. No, this. What? Over the shoulder? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, like I figured it was meant to be done that way. Like it, it's set up really like the, uh, well, like a gun tank or like a gun cannon. I'm surprised it didn't come with two. It should have come with two bazookas. Makes me sad. Was, it, yeah, you could totally that set it a up better with it. Uh, gotta figure out where the camera is. <laughs> Stubby. Because I, because like I've I've told you, this is gonna be red for my comic soon. It's not red. It's brown. Well, yeah, that's why I'm going to get paint to fix that. <laughs> paint? What are you going to get paint? <laughs> Go to g g Get some paint. They need business. Which co which company? g g Model guys? Okay. Yeah. Not skill hobbyists, but somebody else. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're local. They need business. Uh, you know, oh, those guys. Those guys, yeah. Yeah. g g Just go over there. They're open. They need they more people to come in. They had the... Uh, uh, IPMS uh, contest there the other or last weekend. Oh, cool! For uh, military vehicles and stuff. Eric sent me pictures. It's like he just happened to go in there. He's like, oh, yeah. Guns and are still no military vehicles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, they remember they were supposed to be doing all these contests, mm -hmm. but everything got delayed because I was going to go in the uh, space category with my uh, Star Destroyer. Um, oh, that would have been cool. Yeah, well, I'm still going to. I just need to know when it got rescheduled to, <laughs> you know, because that, that would be really fun. I don't have anything I throw into the Gundam contest because that's happening too. Oh, um, is that the, the official Bandai one that's going on? Right no, it's not. No, no, no. Stuck in customs. It's either stuck in customs or on a boat crossing the sea. Hmm. Like, why else would it be taking this long? I mean, my Amazon package that is, you know, that's sitting back here behind me that was in the uh, uh, in the kitchen video that took a month and it came from France. So France, we come from France. Yes. Why are people texting me? <laughs> is everybody bothering me today? To be like, go away. No, nah, it's the wifey. She's going to head to her mom so she can get some real coffee. So she slept at her <laughs> friend's house because that's where they were partying. <clears throat> How else are they going to get you to buy a second one? Oh, I still want to do ground type or ground alto. Well, they didn't do a ground type alto. They just did a brown alto. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought about doing one of the flight types. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if I have as much use for that as some of these other ones. I enjoy doing it. <laughs> now I am looking at their like diorama sets and things like that because some oh, of those uh, look awesome. The action base five with extra bits and stuff. Kind of, but they have the one. Well, you know they have the like city skyline one that's made for the flight type to be like above it. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, and it's from a perspective shot, so they're like narrower at the top or at the bottom than they are at the top, and the building get a little yeah, bit bigger. Force perspective which, stuff. Yeah, force perspective. But they also have desert scene stuff with like wavy. So they're kind of combining what they did with the Star Wars uh, action bases too. Oh, cool. um, so I think I'll get a couple of those. I like the ones that they have where they're like stackable. So like they have a background and things. So it looks like a hangar, but it could be like an mm -hmm. underground hangar that's supposed to like come up through the ground. So like they're really doing a lot. They when people say they're coming for frame arms. They really kind of are because. Frame Arms isn't doing anything like that. Plus, more expensive, harder to find, bigger. So, I mean, I like what they're doing with 30-minute missions. I think it's interesting. Especially considering it's, uh, it's... I mean, Gundam technically is a wholly original property for them. But this yeah. is even more so. There's no story that I know of. Not that I know of either. So they're j this is just pure imagination, basically, for them? <laughs> Kind of. They're just playing around. Um, what would be funny is like instead of building a real thing, just take the different combination bits from like the space type, the aquatic type, and the ground type, and only put those bits together without an actual body. <laughs> like, oh yeah. The the legs, the backpack, the thruster, the tank parts, like just like make some kind of weird amalgamation vehicle. It's all literally all terrain. <laughs> Slap some wings on it. It can go anywhere. 
Especially so can... if um, there's like a an add-on set that has like um, it's got a different face that's uh -huh. sort of like a Dugram style cockpit yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, get that so you could have an actual cockpit. And, well, they all, uh, well, they have the one for the uh, the Rabiot or however the heck we're supposed to say that. Um, that makes it look like a power loader. Oh, cool. Uh, so it's you buy the base Rabiot and then it's all the parts on it are yellow. It's yeah, all like it's the, the framework. Stuff, right? Yeah. So I really kind of want that one. I just don't want to have to buy another thing. It's like it's another model. Could they made it fit one I already have? <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm sure it will. Like it seems like most of the holes and stuff. Yeah, it's up. all it's all not five millimeter. What is this? Three? I think it's all three mil. Yeah. It's close to five. Five mil is transformers. That's why my brain first goes to them. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. I'm trying to go to the the planet of Gundams. Um, because they just got all that in stock. I need to check and see if my thing is shipped. Yeah, because they got they even have like a shovel leg and stuff like that. Let's see here if I can bring it up. Screen share. Do the screen share. Chrome tab. That. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> yep, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, so I kind of dig that. Let's see. I think like, the only thing I don't like about it is the um, the way they show it. Uh, I don't don't like it coming off the skirt armor like that. I think that's silly. What you don't like the crotch hands? No, I don't like the crotch hands. Well, here you can build a I whole like arm that out of it. <laughs> yeah, you get a crane arm out of it. Like I, you know, like the one thing they've really shown is that you can do a lot of versatile combinations with the now, way things connect. Maybe I should pick one of those up for my uh, uh, build ball idea. <laughs> Build ball. <laughs> Imagine a devastator thirty minute mi thirty minute mission custom. Yeah, combining them all together. <laughs> Frame arms is in a coma, just barely comes out of, and then when it does, it's just a retool, recolor. Yeah, pretty much. There are ocean liners moored off port all over the world. Uh, quarantine, frozen shipping status. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but hell, if they've been in sea long enough, then there's no virus active. But yeah, no, that's a pretty cool one. I like the construction aspect of it. But I, yeah, I could see doing some kind of Devastator custom off of that particular kit because it... Let's see, do I have the... Come on, machine. Let's see, yeah, this one right here. So the Rabiot. Rabio, Rabiot. It's pretty beefy. I mean, I could see like throw in throw in some of the uh ground type tank legs and stuff. I almost picked up one of those when I did my uh I did an order with a USA Gundam store. And I How almost picked you? up one of those. How dare you? Yeah, the stuff I wanted. <laughs> Look at all the mounting tabs. And it's funny how how different they can make what is essentially the same base for mm -hmm. every one of them. It's like, these are just all Leos. Let's just be honest here. Truth be told, I kind of wish they did more Gumpla like this. Super just, interchangeability. Yeah, yeah okay, well, so look here. And make, it, and make it so much easier to paint and stuff, right? I guess. Well, okay, so this is funny. So this is the brown one, but it's actually halfway the same. <laughs> 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 that pose it still has crotch <laughs> arms i mean okay that's not a good combination set there that's an interesting <laughs> face though i like that reminds me that, a little bit of the merc one armor a little bit the, uh, no the aquatic one that's the that's the real the real one i think you should get the aquatic one if you haven't i might it's a good one i like it you know he's all he's all purple and yellow and stuff like, even on its own, it's pretty neat. I mean, those are not going to work for your idea that you wanted, though. They're way too big. No. I, when I saw the saw your pictures, I was like, oh, wow, those are too big. Yeah. You know, I got uh, my idea. I'm going to be using the parts off of the, um, what is it? The uh, Impulse Arc and the Impulse, uh, what's, oh, shoot, what's the other one called? 
Yes. I'm looking to see if I can see the boxes and they're covered up somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. The two impulse Gundams from uh, Bell Divers. Yes. All right. So I think I need to go to the bathroom. Um, so I might have to go ahead and call this a stream. Okay, then. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Thanks for everybody who came and hung out. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's not going to be a deal tonight. We don't have anything to do. So we'll have to figure something else out in the meantime. But have a great Sunday. Have a great Memorial Day for anybody who's going to celebrate. Be safe. Don't be stupid. Um, and if somebody asks you to wear a mask, please just do it without fighting. Yes. Yes. Be and safe. Then be safe. <laughs> don't be dumb. Barbecue some stuff. And happy birthday to Max. Happy birthday. So, <laughs> but see you guys later. Bye. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot. Before, before I end. <laughs> Go get the second channel to over 220 so we can beat him. <laughs> Cannot I let him to win. So much. So. I rewatched that stream so I could catch everything, especially since I heard yeah. you were talking shit. I was so I was like, okay, what is he doing? I was laughing so much yeah. during that. That was hilarious. Yeah. So yeah. Go go subscribe to the secondary channel. We can't let him win. I did pick up at least one more subscriber last night. So <laughs> he, he's over 200. We need to beat him. Go subscribe to the secondary I'll channel. I'll just have to unsubscribe to that channel just to balance things out. <laughs> I'll go make another one to subscribe back to it. <laughs>